Now, oh, this uh, tweet from the president comparing COVID to the flu has drawn heavy criticism from the medical community. Let's bring in Dr. Frank McGeorge for a closer look at the comparison, which is not to downplay the seriousness of the flu either. No, not at all. You know, I completely understand the instinct to compare COVID to influenza. Whenever we're faced with anything new and uncertain like COVID, there is a natural tendency to comfort ourselves by comparisons to something that we are familiar with. And it is true that many of the hallmark symptoms are the same. Fever, cough, body aches. But after that, comparisons break down. Let's simply start with the president's estimate that the flu kills sometimes over 100,000. In the past 10 years, the highest influenza death toll was estimated at 61,000 in the 2017 to 2018 season to as low as 12,000 in the 2011 to 2012 season. Even using the president's 100,000, COVID has already killed twice as many Americans in nine months, and it's still killing. And when it comes to spread, COVID is far more transmissible. Broadly speaking, without precautions, one person with the flu infects between 1.3 to 1.7 other people. Without precautions, one person with COVID will infect two to three other people. Now, beyond the similarities in initial symptoms of fever, cough, and body aches, COVID has demonstrated an ability that the flu does not have, multiple organ involvement. Severe COVID produces an extraordinary and deadly inflammatory process, abnormal blood clotting, and damage to multiple organs, particularly the heart. Even if someone survives, there is growing evidence of longer-term consequences in many. Now, finally, the simplest difference between flu and COVID is that we have a vaccine and well-established treatments for influenza. COVID-19 has neither. Now, I'm really happy the president seems to be improving, but the fact is, Many other people his age have not been so fortunate. COVID is simply not influenza. The mortality rate for the flu in people over 65 is between 0.1 and 0.2%. The case fatality rate for COVID in people aged 70 to 79 in Michigan, it's 18%. I've taken care of some of those people and suggesting that it's just like the flu to them is an insult to the memory of those who have already died. Yeah. So, Dr. McGeorge, tell us uh, what you're working on for Wellness Wednesday. That's tomorrow at 630. Yeah, I'll be taking a closer look at one of the red flags for COVID-19. That's the loss of smell and taste. We're learning that this symptom may be more important than doctors first realized and that you need to act right away if you develop it. And that'll be again tomorrow at 630 a.m. On the morning show. That's right. Okay, Dr. McGeorge, appreciate it.